Fresh from the London event, he was sent to Aden and fought in the Aden emergency. Men died under his command. His trip to Tibet was interrupted when his plane was sucked sideways in time in a freak accident, landing in the 1959 of an alternate universe. The locals believed he was a foreign agent and interrogated him extensively, before the local James Lethbridge Stewart, a Coldstream Guards major, was convinced of him. The two traveled to a third reality's 1940, meeting Nikola Tesla and causing the events that dragged Lethbridge Stewart to the other reality, but the interrogation's drugs left him confused and believing he'd simply been an East German prisoner. The memories came back slowly. Following his rehabilitation, he was sent on a presumed easy mission to check out the, allegedly dead, singer Ed Hill. He got there to find Hill dead and the area cleaned of all evidence, leading him to realize some parts of the government already had evidence of alien threats and he wasn't being told everything. In his second mission after the Eastern Bloc, he went to Wales to find and retrieve a Soviet ambassador's daughter from a cult. The cult was formed around a menacing alien creature called the Grinning Man and Lethbridge Stewart was almost killed encountering them. To his surprise, and before he could shoot the Grinning Man, the creature turned out to be the local pub owner in a mask. Lethbridge Stewart was left worried that his judgment was shot and he was too focused on finding aliens. At Fang Rock, Lethbridge Stewart followed up a lead from Owain and was forced to fully accept time travel as a fact when Ann Travers demonstrated it in front of him. He also fought off a Rutan attack and was made aware this was the third in a series of Fang Rock incidents. Travers revealed she was investigating the vault on Hamilton's behalf, and he learned Department C-19 were involved in it, and that the doctor, codenamed Cosmic Hobo, by Whitehall, was known to have been on Earth five times before. Hamilton sent him to meet with Vice Marshal Ian Chunky Gilmore, who told him about the Shoreditch incident and gave him military files on Cosmic Hobo. The encounter showed him evidence of alien visits to Earth that went back thousands of years. He was also used as bait. The vault was operating out of government control and Hamilton and Gilmore had hoped the Cosmic Hobo files would draw out its agents, allowing them to find and shut down its citadel bunker. This led to Lethbridge Stewart and Gilmore being pursued by a Yeti and after finding the Citadel, the colonel was distraught to learn his old Sandhurst friend Leslie Johnston was working for the vault. Johnston and the base were captured. An investigation into the nuclear company Dominex led Lethbridge Stewart and Harold Chorley into a clash with the Dominators. The invaders had their patsy Sir Anthony Bufton, the energy minister, arrange for the colonel to be held by MI5 as a deranged obsessive. With Hamilton's help, Alistair escaped and assembled a small team of ex-soldiers, all owed favors to Pemberton, to raid Dominex. They stopped the Dominator's plan to start nuclear war. This meant the government finally approved of a response force. The resulting Black Ops Group, officially the Home Army 5th Operational Corps and usually called Havoc, was on paper a special forces group linked to the Scots Guard and would have to use, best of the rest, recruits to stay under the radar. The old Longbow base under Edinburgh Castle, Dolorite base, was given over to Havoc. To the colonel's annoyance, Havoc needed money from industrialist Peyton Bryden to stay under the radar and thus he had to compromise his wishes. A scientific research team staffed by civilians was the main bugbear. He was further frustrated by having to turn the rabble and rotten apples he was receiving into a functioning unit and worse, in a mission at Chelsea Barracks, he couldn't even use Havoc staff as they were elsewhere in the country receiving training. When reading the files necessary for setting up Havoc, he was shocked to learn there was a British space program and that it was aiming for Mars. He had a chance encounter with Samson Ware, now a TV stuntman, at the pub in summer 1969 and convinced his old friend to join Havoc. The encounter had also led him to uncover and stop a plot by Nazi war criminal Wilhelm Schadengeist, who was using a TV studio to terrorize Londoners into entering his experimentation bunker. Alistair not only gave a fake story of the mission to Chorley to keep him contained, he covered it up with Hamilton out of fear Bryden would try to dig up Schottengeist's bunker. To his surprise and delight, he was promoted to brigadier in 1969 to ensure he could oversee havoc.